Welcome back to the basement yard, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, just want to point out that we are now having full videos on YouTube, youtube.com slash the basement yard. So if you want to watch this shit, go watch it. I'm running out of air right it's now. It's okay. I got you. Go watch it at youtube.com slash the basement yard. We're going to have full videos in that bitch. Oh, you want the whole episode? You got it. All right. We listened. Okay. We love you. God. Yo, I really ran out of air while doing that. That's all right. That was weird. Did you go to the gym today? No. No, that's I have no, I have no real excuse. No. You don't just have random bouts of like, I can't breathe right now. Every day of my life. Well, I mean, I know you got like anxiety <laughs> and whatnot. So. Ah, here we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm just and saying. And asthma. No. <laughs> yeah, well, and that is a combination for the ages. I was talking about, yeah, suck that up right now. I got you. Suck on it. Shake it up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is there smoke that comes out? No. Why are you holding it in? You're supposed to. What does that do? Does it make you breathe better now? So when you have asthma, the, your the airways they become inflamed, e- like easier than normal people's. So this keeps you it. Excuse me, sir. So you can't sleep here. No, go ahead. Get. No, no, no. It, it opens up. It helps uh, the inflammation in your breathing, sir. Sir. Thank you. It, <laughs> it helps. It helps the inflammation in your breathing tubes. Okay, that makes sense. I know it did something. It wasn't. They were yeah. just doing it for no reason. Yeah. Um. But anyway, I, I wanted to start off this episode by talking about something serious because you know we we talked about serious things on like I think it was last episode or the episode before that, and people enjoyed us having serious conversation. Yeah, yeah. Because ca- usually we're night- talking about crazy stuff. Yeah. You know. But we this have brains. Week, we have brains. Yeah. You know. What is it you use? Not percent? great. Yeah, not great brains. If we're using ten percent of our brains, I'm at, I'm around like six. I would say I, I would say six is high. I think that ten percent of your brain thing is bullshit. By the way, no, I think it's scientifically proven. There's no way that we only use ten percent of our brains. There's no way. What is the ninety percent? F- like- you got lobes and shit all over here. <laughs> You can tell me th- this whole thing, uh, blah blah God or whatever it is. You're gonna tell me? I tell you what. That's only ten percent of our brain. It got lobes all over this thing. I tell you what. That description of your brain sounds like you're using less than ten percent. Yeah, you got lobes. <laughs> we do. A goblin dadas on my back. We do. Gargoyle. We do. I understand. Cere- but anyway, cerebellum and shit. Yeah. Is that in your brain? I don't know. I, I think, think it's it like the neck. The frontal lobe. I think it's your speech. <laughs> you don't know anything about that thing. It's weird you? that you could be like right brained and left brained. Isn't that a thing? I don't know. Yeah, you could be like a right brained person or a left brained person. I really hope I'm right about most of this. I, I, I think you sound like you're using one percent of your brain. I got a bone to pick with you. What? Been a little mean to me the last couple I have, episodes. I have. I have. What's up with you? I don't know. What's going on? I think I'm just capitalizing. I'm trying. I have I, insecurities and stuff. No, that's fine. I think you. I think you're a little <laughs> jealous of my of my flashy lifestyle. <laughs> I think you are. Of your flashy lifestyle? I, I think he is. What's your flashy I lifestyle? I mean, we, we could do it right here. What are you hanging out with Zac Efron and no, like? No, no, no. He hangs out with me. Oh. Yeah. I don't even have his number. Okay. He texts me. So you're hanging out with a bunch of celebrities and stuff. We're going to get to the... You want to know where I think it is? What? I know where this all stems from. What? It's that ass kicking I gave you in fucking mini golf. And you still won't commit to the fucking bet like a man. Like a man. Listen, I am in a... And you come out and say, I'm either going to dye my hair or I'm going to dress like whatever Danny wants me to dress like for 24 hours. Be a man. Are you done? Are you done? I I have to move out of my apartment soon. Yes, yeah, so I have a transitional thing I need to do here. We all transition in life. That's what I'm saying. Give me some time to settle into my new place, and then maybe we'll we'll talk about dyeing my hair or or wearing a dress or whatever the fuck you're gonna make me do. Nipple tassels. All I'm saying is this: I would have never done this. <laughs> Day one, I would I would have did it. I would have got it out of the way. It's the attitude of a scared man. And you're taking it out on me now, knowing that I have this on you. No, I'm not. I'm hurt. That's great. I'm glad you're hurt. See? Sarcasm again. I'm glad you're having a good... I'm glad you're hurt. I'm uh, glad you're you're hurting. Yeah. You're in is. a lot of pain. It is. See? See what I deal with? Anyway, again? can we talk about what we're going to talk about on this, on this godforsaken podcast? I'm just saying. The pain is real. 
pain is real. Speaking of pain, it kind of ties into what we're talking about here. See? Okay. Serious thing we wanted to talk about. Noah Cyrus is selling her tears in a bottle for $12,000. You know what? I get it. Because I know what it's like to cry. Danny, where can they find you? $12,000 for a bottle of tears? What are you doing with the tears? Oh, I could think of lots of things. Name one. There are some creeps out there. You could drink it. First of all, you know how long you have to cry for a whole bottle's worth of tears? That's why I don't think it's real tears. You think it's faux tears? Faux tears. Faux tears? Yes. And what? It's just like half, like... One third tier, yeah. two thirds water. Yeah, it's like a supplement where they tell you it's like twenty percent protein. The rest of it's like some other shit. You don't even know what it yeah. is. That's what it is. Do you know how much you would have to cry to fill up a bottle of your tears? Well, she did just go through a, a breakup with Lil Xan. Yeah, that would make me cry too. Yeah, Lil Xan. You know, that's when you know you're famous. Imagine presenting that person to like your fan. Hey, it's my boyfriend, Lil Xan. His name is Xan. Lil, it, it's short for Xanax. If my daughter brought home a guy with face tattoos and a name Lil Xan, I might beat the shit out of both of them. <laughs> well, his name is Diego, I believe. Yeah. But he's Lil Xan. Lil Xan. And his eyes don't open fully. No. For some reason, I don't know if he's tired. I think they're working that kid to the bone. You need to get him like a B12 shot or something because he needs to be like... <laughs> I need to see that dude wired. You know what I mean? No, seriously. If you look at this picture of this kid, he always looks like he's... Yeah, I've seen him. I can't stand him. He just him. got off a, like a coal mining shift, yeah. and now he's going to his job at a fucking Walgreens. It's like, give this kid a break. Let him get a day. Let him get a day. Let him get a day. Rest up. And why'd they break up? Do you know? Fuck knows. I have no idea. It just wasn't working out. How old are they? They're young. I think they're 20. Oh, all right. Yeah, they're young. So like that's t- probably like why they broke up. No, I, what? They're not like teens, are they? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I I, I mean, we're Took right there. 19's right there. Yeah, that's true. If you're 19, you're 20. It's the same age. No. 20's the worst age you could be. 20's trash. Terrible. Yeah, it sucks. Because like, you're 20, you got the two, but no one takes you seriously. It's like, yeah. you're not 20, you're fucking like basically nine. Yeah. And then you're 21. Can't even buy a jewel. You can't buy a jewel? I think it's... Don't you have to be 21 to, like, rip jewels now? I have never bought in a jewel. Never bought in a jewel? I tried to buy one one night when I was hammered. When jewel hunting? Yeah. That's awesome. You know how many delis I went to? How many? Three. Wow. That's None a- of them had jewels? Yeah. That's more That's more ridiculous. <laughs> than me. Yeah. Then you go into three delis. Do you know, like, but I... Yo, because I don't even, like, want to smoke a jewel. No. But for some reason, I was so I was like really drunk, and I got dropped off my Uber in front of my apartment. And there's a deli on the corner, so I went there. So like, yeah, you guys got jewels? And the guy's like, nah. I was like, all right, cool. So I went to a different one that's like a block away. That one didn't have it either. And then I walked like three blocks to another one. That one didn't have it. And then I was like, maybe I should just go to bed. One, you're correct. Two, you would have looked at that thing in the morning. Like, you just slept with somebody you didn't know. Exactly. You'd have been like, get this thing out of She's here. She's like, oh my fucking God. What did I do yesterday? <laughs> you try to give that away so fast. Yeah, not great. No. Not great. But $12,000? Who set the price on those tears? I don't know. Because I think that's a little... You're shooting for the stars here. I don't know the tears market, though. Yeah. You know? I'm not in on that. So I don't know what's that's a good dark, price. That's dark web shit. If she sells hers for $12,000, I don't... Like, is Noah Cyrus that famous? Like... I think that I could probably sell a couple tiers like for like 800 bucks then. Yeah, you could sell some tiers. I could like if I get a bottle of my tiers. 800 bucks to her 12,000. I think that's a good Yeah. You know? Yeah. You almost does she, does she have a hit song? You might be more famous than her. No. No. She dated Lil Xan. That's true. <laughs> Come on, man. That's true. You Come on, probably- man. Lil Xan, man. You can get Doesn't the Zan man? The Zan man can. Yes, he can. That's so weird. What? Just that whole that whole kid is just weird. Yo, the younger generation of kids are a little strange. They scare the shit out of me. Yeah, they're terrifying. They're all like into like like sacrilegious things. You and... want to know what's weird? Is they're gonna teach our kids? No. 
Yeah. No, just, these kids with face tattoos and like 666 tatted on their wrists aren't going to like teach your kids. Sadly, they won't be around much longer. What does that mean? Yeah, I just feel like these kids, they like, they ruin their lives. I mean, with all the substance talking. abuse and all the like, yeah. you know, guns and shit. Like, if you had to bet on Lil Xan or like Takashi69 living another 10 years, a part of you is going to think about saying no. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, it's just there's a lot of like substance abuse and like gang and guns Crazy and shit. That shit is scary, bro. Celebrities live a wild life. Yeah, yeah. I'm a pussy, bro. I can't be a celebrity. But here's another thing, though. Well, you are a celebrity because I'm not a celebrity, though. I would not say <sighs> pretty close. I'm not a celebrity, dude. People know who I am. Right. I'm not a celebrity, though. I don't. Th- you're not a celebrity in like Midwest, Ohio, like, like part of the country no, i'm not a like, celebrity anywhere dude we went to the rangers game and i don't think we could walk six feet that's a lie that's an embellishment i was there throughout the entire night what like 10 12 people came up to me all sweethearts yeah why'd you do that <laughs> what do you mean <coughs> let it out i got <coughs> damn you did don't... i just dab yeah you don't cover your mouth at all either. That was gross. I'm in my house. Yeah, that's true. We are in a small room though. Yeah. Inconsiderate. And there's a big cold going around these days. Are you one of those people that thinks they're sick when they get a cold? No. All right. I power through it. Someone's like, oh, I'm I'm sick. I'm like, what do you have? I just have like a cold. I'm like, yeah, that's great. If nothing's, get up. If nothing's coming out of my mouth or asshole, I'm not sick. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I, I could work through a cold. It's not that big of a deal. You got a runny nose? Yeah. So does everyone during the winter. Give me a break. Yeah. But anyway, my point is, I'm not a celebrity anywhere. If anywhere, it would be New York. But yeah, we went to the range game. Like 12 people knew how... But it wasn't like they put me on the jumbo trial and like, guess who's here? And right. people went crazy. Like riled up the fucking crowd. Yeah, yeah, right? Like, it's not like that. Yeah. So you, that's a, that's what I consider like a celebrity. I you're, think I'm known. Right. You're not like dropping the, the like honorary dropping the puck and shit. Yeah, I'm not yeah. out there like, you know, with the kid, you know, two kids that have cancer. Like, I'm going to drop the puck for these kids. And right. Like, I'm not that guy. I got a little dark. What? <laughs> that's what they do at the Ranger game. Do they? Yeah. I got to go to more Ranger games. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It's but very anyway. Fun. Uh so yeah, I'm not I'm not that guy. So you could sell it for 800 then. That's 800 Someone would bucks. buy your your like It's going to sound really weird. Here we go. If you put a piece of your underwear, a piece of it? What am I cutting it out? Arts and crafts? Yeah, a pair, a piece, whatever. A whole pair? Why do they call underwear pairs? And why do they call pants pairs? A pair of pants? Yeah. Because one one leg is a is a pant. These are pants. I'm not buying it. That's the that's what it is though. Yeah, but it's 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 connected in one piece. Socks I get. Two yeah. Two things. Mm-hmm. You got two of them. Right. <laughs> pants? One thing. One thing there. No, it's well, this is a pant. So, so then why would you have a leg? You would just have a leg. You got two arms. Yeah. Same rules apply. They're connected. Sweatshirt, shirt. Because it's going on one body. Yeah, and the pants are too. Where do you think they're going? Sleeves. Two different sleeves. This arm, this arm. Pants, two legs. But they don't call them long sleeve. Long sleeves. No, they don't call them that. It's a long sleeve shirt. It's a long sleeve shirt. It's got, uh, got a long sleeve. A pair of pants. I'm just, it's not about the pants. It's about the pair. Of pants. Pair of pants. But anyway. I, what the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> I don't know. But I don't like... Noah Cyrus' tears? Yeah. No, I was saying, you said $800 for your tears. Right. If you put a pair... Of pants? Of, Underwear pants. Of underwear. Okay. You could easily sell for 800 bucks. I wouldn't want to do that. I'm just saying, somebody would buy your underwear. I'd, I'd like... It'd be a scandal. Like, I'd buy new ones and not wear them and then send those. Yeah. You know, like with the like Eli Manning thing. Remember yeah, that? yeah, exactly. You That's wear exactly it for like one second and like take it off. That's what I would do. <clears throat> but like, what would you do with these tears? By the way, you were like, oh, I could think of stuff. Like, what would you do? Dude, there's creeps out there. Somebody would definitely J it with those tears. Use it as like lubricant. Yeah, you can't jerk off with tears. You could figure out a way. Make you ever a, like try to jerk make, off make with just solution. water? Make a solution. Yeah, mix with, it with something. With like gel and yeah. That's weird. I'm just saying. You can so you're okay. You're, you're jerking it with the tears. Yeah. Which is that's sad. 
Uh, I don't know. Doing some drinking like it. Blood ritual or something. Blood ritual. Maybe cooking. Maybe cooking with it. <laughs> cooking with tears. Cooking with tears. Yeah. Putting in your like, putting on your salad. Well, Put it on your salad. Yeah. Make a dressing with it. Jesus, twelve thousand dollars for a tear salad. I'd rather someone spit in my salad than that shit. Some boss. You ever think somebody spit in your food? God, I hope not. I don't think so because I'm one of those people that if you bring out even the wrong food, I'm like, well, I'll just eat this then. Unless it's like, like I don't like fish because it doesn't agree with me. If they bring out like a fish, I'm yeah. like, well, I'm not eating this. Like this is the wrong thing. Yeah. You know, that, but at that, that case, it would be me. understanding. Like I'm not one of those people that like I'll get a burger and it'll be cheddar cheese and be like, I asked for American. Like just yeah. eat the fucking burger. Yeah. You know, I'm not that guy. Remember that guy? Remember that time we ordered food? They only brought one. Yeah. And the guy got really mad at you. And, like gave you like a really bad look. No, that's not that's not what happened. We ordered food. The guy rang my bell. Yeah. You went down to get it. And the guy was giving you a look. And yeah. I was like, what the fuck? Like the guy called me. Hey. Oh, yeah. I got he food. was giving you attitude. Yeah. And I was like, what the f- Why? And he was like, and you're like, no, it's not mine. It's it's my buddy's. And he's like, oh, it's all oh, it's his. And you're like, yeah. Yeah. It was weird. I never ordered from and there again. And then he stared scared. at me for like 10 seconds. And I was like, what's going on? I asked him. I was like, what, what's what's the problem? What, what's going on here? And then he just like hit me with like the, I just walked away. So I don't order from there because I'm scared. Yeah. I don't like messing with people. that. No, because I, I feel like they know the addresses. Like yeah. they might spit in your shit. Yeah, or that. Yeah. Spitting it, take a dump in it. Maybe just like... Think about how big of a piece of shit you have to be to spit in somebody's food. <sighs> or is it warranted? I don't think so. I don't... I don't. Yuck. I don't like it. No. Whenever I go out to, I order most things well done. Like a burger, I'll get well done. Yeah. Because I'm afraid of like... That's... A, a well done burger is disgusting. I'm not there for the... Like, I'm, I'm just there because I need to get this consume, in here. Consume it. I'm not a big eating guy. I don't really like eating. I like, here's the thing. I like, <laughs> I like eating, obviously, yes, right? Survival. Like meals, like going out and having meals and like whatever, these nice things, whatever. But like on a day to day basis where it's like you, you're, you, you wait until you're hungry to eat. Mm-hmm. And so you just eat anything. Right. Like I don't like that kind of eating. I like going out at a restaurant, and like getting stuff, but I don't like having to eat. Like most days, I would say 365 days in a year, if 300 of those days I could just take a pill and not be hungry all day, I'd do it. Like I'm not into eating. It's called Adderall. <laughs> it's called cocaine. Yeah, it's called cocaine, sir. Nah, I hear you though. But let me ask you something. People are buying Noah Cyrus's tears for $12,000. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything, like, is there a weird thing you'd buy from a celebrity that you'd be like, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this. Oh, I'm buying that. Yeah. Like what? Like I would buy like Rihanna's underwear or something. Can you explain the underwear thing to me? Because I don't get that. Like, and you know how in movies guys are like, they're in some girl's room. It's like, oh, her underwear. Like, no. What do you What are you expecting to smell? Her no. puss? No, I wouldn't do that. I would like you see this. I'd I'd, I'd like encase it. Like Rihanna's. Like, like, yeah, like memorabilia. <laughs> like a Mike Richter jersey. Yeah. I would have it up in my room. Riri stomp. Above the bed? Yeah. It's like... Good night. Yes. <laughs> Before I hit the lights. God, that is so weird. What would you get? I don't know. Uh, I don't want tears. I no, I don't want s- tears either. Tears don't last. No. I'd like a whole hand. <laughs> like, give me like Jennifer Aniston's hand. That you could like... Just put it on the mantle. Like, you know a thing from Adam's family? Just let it... Let it sit there. Stuff it so that it could stay like up. You That'd know be I mean? so weird. <laughs> you just get a whole hand. It's Actually, like that, I don't want a hand at all. That's terrifying. What like, am I th- saying? It's like that scene in Ted. Did you ever see Ted? Yeah. When he's like, Lance Armstrong's nut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I got it bronzed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Hmm. I like an article of clothing. And like something like not creepy, I would get. These like, are all creepy as fuck. No, like you would want like, like a tooth. No, no, no. Like a George Clooney tooth. Like a <laughs> like a like Billy Joel's shoes or something. Oh, okay. Like that'd be cool. 
Like if you did a show, like played a show on them, and he gave me the shoes. No, no, no. I need like weird, weird things. Yeah. Like, would you like? I don't understand. Like, there's people out there to like, pe- like, like pieces of hair. What? Like they would like pieces of hair. Oh, to like keep in a book. Yeah, and they make like hair like voodoo dolls out of them. You never seen any of those? What? Yeah. Like creeps would collect girls' hairs that like fall off, and make hair dolls out of them. They're not huskies. How can you get that much fucking hair? It's it's a long process, but uh, I'll, sh- I'll show you. Big payoff though. I guess if Wait, you're if you're into that type it's of made, thing. It's made out of like entirely human hair. Yes. That is one of the grossest things I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, they're gross. Yo, hair's disgusting when you think about it. Yeah. Like, it's... as soon as it leaves your head, it's gross. Like, have you ever been somewhere and then you get someone else's hair on you? Just one strand of hair and you're like, ew! Yeah. Or if I... it's in your food? Hair and food will make me never want to eat from that place ever again. See, that's another thing. Like, I don't, I don't care. You'll take it out and eat it? Yeah. That's disgusting. It depends how big it is, to be honest with you. Dude, if I pull somebody's hair out of my mouth and I know it's not my hair, yeah. I'm not eating that. But you don't know if it's your hair or not. I know my hair. But also, why is hair so gross? Because it's gross. I'd rather have a hair than a spit. Yeah. But your hair could carry a lot of shit. Like what? I don't know. Lice? Yes. Like, what? yes. Who has lice anymore? Yo. No one has lice. First of all, we don't even check for it in schools. First I don't know. All, I don't know. I want to confirm that. I don't they know. They do because I worked at a summer camp years ago. Before yeah, I this was sing- like ten years before ago. Before I started thinking about titties. This is a decade ago. Decade. Decade ago. I had to shave my entire head because I got lice from one of the children. That's fire. Yeah, it's not. It was terrible. Yeah, but that was back then, man. Lice still existed. Sucking. People don't have Glorious lice. Now. Bed bugs is the thing. That shit's disgusting. That's gross. Yeah. Now you got to fumigate. You got to do all kinds Those of shit. Those things are hard to get out, too. Hell yeah. Those things are hard to get out. But lice? No. My mom's apartment building had them once. Some guy brought in a fucking mattress from off the street, infested. Who the fuck would take someone else's mattress? An idiot. Yo, mattresses, by the way, the grossest part of a home. Yeah, that's if you just, if you look at a mattress with a black light, uh, it would look like three people got murdered. Just drool, jizz, jizz shit, blood, a little yeah. bit of peep peep. Yep, it's all kinds of, and and some of it's not yours; it's I other know. people, I know. and also like just like pieces of skin. Yeah, pieces of skin, your like, hair, your butt hair, but uh, poop, poop from your ass, poops all in there. It's disgusting, yeah. and it just sits there, and it accumulates. Over time. Yeah. I'm throwing my bed out. Yeah, you should. Just get a brand new one. Yeah. Get a brand new bed, and then you can put Jennifer Aniston's fucking severed hand right next to it on your mantle. Yeah. That's fucking weird. What? That's weirder than underwear. At least I could, like, use it. That's true. Nah, because it'd be all rigor mortis, so you can't jerk off that. I'm not, I didn't say jerk off with it. I could just, like, have it around and, like, put it in my shirt and pretend it's mine. <laughs> So weird. Yeah, that's terrible. Yeah. I'm joking though. Yeah, right, for sure. No, I'm d- I'm joking. All jokes. Um, <laughs> All jokes. Is there anything else you would buy? Um, I would buy like a sweaty jersey. No, I need body. Like, um, part of the body. Hmm. Like chest hair or like a nipple. What about a boob? If I could have one celebrity's tit, um, damn, dude. Like Dolly really... Parton's tit. Yeah, it's too old, though. Yeah, but it's not about being old. It's the legendary boobs. Yeah, I would, I would encase that. Hell I would yeah. get that bronze. Yeah, I don't, no one's touching that. No, I would get a bronze tit and like put like one of those crazy museum fucking sensors on that thing. No yeah. one touches that tit. Like the beams of red light yeah. or whatever. Remember that dude in like Ocean's 12 or whatever that had to like dance through? Yeah, them? exactly. Like you would have to do that to get to that tit. Yeah. I would get if I can have both of Dolly Parton's tits, it's just like in a glass case. That should yeah. be in a museum somewhere. Those are like famous. Yeah, respectfully. Yeah. It's not like <clears throat> oh, I want to do stuff to him. No, I, I, you're respecting history there. It would have to be breakable glass, and it would say like in small print, like in case of emergency, break glass. Yeah, just in case, like you know what I mean. I mean, yeah. maybe like six, like fifty years down the line, 
I'm just like a very lonely guy. And Dude, it's like, that's art. Got to break the glass. Yeah. Now I'm grabbing her tits. That's art. Yeah. That would appreciate over time. Yeah. 100%. Maybe this, even 200%. <laughs> We're on something. This is a weird conversation. Yeah. On purpose, though. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Why not? I'm trying to think of other sh- things too. I just can't. No. I'm trying to be all like Netflix documentary murderer. That's what I'm like, saying. Thinking. I was trying to, that's why I brought up like the hair doll, like voodoo doll shit. Dude, speaking of voodoo or whatever, by the way, I saw this thing online that Beyonce's former drummer is accusing her of like witchcraft. I got to find it. I could see that. She does come off witchy. She could be a little witch, witch like. Like I always talk about her How I feel like There's always just like a light yeah. Behind her That's like shining So that she glows And I feel like she's talking like And she's just moving And speaking sort of in, hypnotizing Yeah speaking in very like Hypnotic ways <laughs> Beyonce's former drummer Alleges singer Practices extreme witchcraft And cursed her with magic spells Of sexual molestation Wait How do you What's What's a magic spell of Molestation. I don't know. I think a ghost comes in and just like rubs your sniz. What is that? I don't know. So wait. Furthermore, Thompson, which is the Kimberly Thompson's the drummer, alleges in the paperwork that Bay subjected her to extreme exhaustion. I love that they said Bay. <laughs> yeah, they wrote Bay. Uh, magic spells of sexual molestation. How do you say that word? Molestation, right? Yeah. Um, loss of a man. Jobs, theft of homes. Why are they writing it like this? I don't know. <laughs> theft of home. This is how you would write it in like Spanish. Like you know how you have to say like it's like <laughs> it's backwards. <laughs> class of art is art class. Yeah. It's like why are we doing this? Uh, theft of homes, large losses of money, extreme theft, uh, extreme fine. theft of intellectual properties, the murder of my pet kitten. Whoa. Magic spells on my lovers and numerous broken relationships. Some of those were the, like all the same thing, but a kitten got fucking wrecked in this. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on? The answer's like, uh, uh, that cat is dead. That cat? Ah, uh, the dead. cat's fucking dead as shit, bro. Solange, kill that cat. Loss of man. <laughs> That's a weird way to put it. It sounds like a movie title. Loss of man. Yeah. Spell on my lovers. Theft of homes. Theft of homes. Beyonce. Put a spell on you so people broke into your house and stole your shit. This, pers- your cat? this person's lying. But a part of me Who's feels like say? she's not. I don't know. Celebrities have done weirder things. I'm afraid of witchcraft, to be honest with you. Like, I don't want to say, because what if she hears me and then now I have a dead cat? Yeah. I don't even have a cat, but imagine one just shows up. Yo, that story you told me about that cat is hysterical. Can you tell it on here? What cat? The cat gift. Oh, my buddy and his cat? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, people know him. So my buddy. <laughs> this, I'm actually, sorry. I, I'm not going to say his name. Yeah, don't say his name. Yeah, but it was a cat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to hear the story Speaking again. Of, no, no cat died. No there cat was no died. Beyonce no involved cat, no, in this no, 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 sort no. of thing. We'll go back to Beyonce, but this story is too amazing. But my friend thought it'd be a good idea to give his brother uh, a cat for like his birthday. <laughs> So he went to great lengths to get this cat. Like he was calling me. He's like, yo, I'm going to be a little late. Like I got to go here in Brooklyn, see if the cat's available. And like you, to adopt a cat, there's like a lot of stuff you have to do. Yeah. So he adopts the cat and he's like holding it for a couple of days. And I'm like, dude, like this is a little, I don't have, you know. You voiced your opinion that it was a little. I was shaky. Yeah. And he brought it to his <laughs> brother shaky. and, um, he put it in the bathroom at his parents' house, and then he was like, hey, guys, look, like here's your gift, and he opened up the door. Immediately, the mom starts crying. The brother's like, what do you do? Like, oh, my God. And he's just standing there like, what the... And his dad's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, why would you do that? And, like, no one wanted this fucking cat. <laughs> it was just like... One of the worst gifts you can give someone, because... The thing is, I feel so bad laughing, because I know him, too, but... Just knowing that he went through all this work to get this cat and everyone hated it. The good news is, like, they did find someone who was a, like, 
good parent to the cat and like got it to someone else didn't just like give it back or anything like that but yeah oh my. i could just see <laughs> the mom started crying it's crazy man oh i love that story i love that you story you can't surprise so much. animals on people no i did that yeah i know you're an idiot <laughs> That's insane. You didn't even tell me. I thought you would at least tell me. No. It was one of those things where I was like, my whole life I've wanted a dog. Yeah. And like your own dog. Like you don't share it with anybody else. I was like, I, this is my one moment to have my own dog. I, so I walked in the ASPCA, looked for, looked for a dog, which is now Eli. Some of you know him. Who is the man, by the way. Mm-hmm. Um, I got very lucky. Um, but... I thought it would be a good idea to just bring it home <laughs> and forgetting that I live with another person. Yeah. And I did not discuss this with her at all. At all. Not one bit. Nope. Just got back from Italy. Just readjusting the life. The best part about these two stories <laughs> is that when you're going through it behind someone's back, the only the only thought in your head is... This is going to go so well. <laughs> She's going to love this. It's so true. I was like, I'm a fucking superhero. <laughs> this is going to be the greatest day of our lives. What can go wrong? And then they what come through that door wrong? and it's just the complete opposite. <laughs> yeah. and when I brought Eli home, he did not bark at all. Mm-hmm. He was awesome. <laughs> didn't bark. Didn't cry. Watch baseball with me on the couch. He was the man. Mm-hmm. Soon as Alana gets home, opens the door, he barks. And when you come into our apartment, there's that hallway. So yeah. you can't say, and she just goes, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> and then she comes around the corner, like sneaks around the corner and goes, who is that? <laughs> now I'm, my whole, like my whole body, everything just goes to my feet. Now I'm just like, oh my God, I just made the biggest mistake of my entire I life. I fucked up. So she just goes, who is that? I said, it's it's Eli. She was like, whose dog is that? And I just go, it's our dog. <laughs> Joe, I shit you not. Tears. <laughs> Hysterically crying. Rightfully so. Yeah. And You're she an goes, idiot. She goes, how could you do this to me? <laughs> now think what I'm thinking in my head the, the whole day going back to what you were saying. This is the smartest thing I've ever done. And my favorite part about this is just imagining like in that moment, you, you were so confident and then she comes in and you go, I am the dumbest person ever. I, I've never gone from thinking I was like boyfriend of the of the century to being like i might need to move out (laughs) i was like this is a bad situation yeah hilarious and as soon as she goes up to touch him he pisses all over the floor (laughs) (laughs) oh what a payoff yeah and she and then obviously she loves the dog now he's the man we love him yeah but i would recommend do not bring (laughs) anything that breathes into a house for other people without consulting with them first. Yeah, you can't even get like a new bed sheet. No. Like, what color is this? Don't do that. See, consult. You, you haven't lived with with a girl yet. Yeah, no. It is so hard. <laughs> <laughs> she was, she she literally was holding the door. She goes, "I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at him." It just stared at me like this. Like, I was like, holy shit, I got to go to an adoption agency now. Yeah, exactly. She's going to keep the dog and kick me out. Yep. Fellas, ladies, do not bring home animals ever without yeah. consulting. You can't. You can't do it. Like, it. like, when you got Charlie, did you tell everyone you were getting Charlie? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's probably better. I, <laughs> I was also living at home at the time, so if I just brought a home dog, my brought a home dog. What up, yeah? <laughs> Yo, it's my, home, house, dog. It's my home dog. It's my home dog. What up, yeah? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, I live here now. <laughs> oh, 
Oh shit. <laughs> bro, bro. <laughs> Yo, this is Charlie. This is my home dog. What's going on, y'all? Yo, what's going on? Yo, I can eat with y'all. <laughs> bet. All right, bet. All right, bet. I'm gonna smoke a cigarette outside. <laughs> You guys got like a shoe on policy or something? Yo, I gotta take my shoes off. Y'all do the <laughs> Japanese thing or what up in here? I know Joe, Joe be looking Japanese sometimes. I don't know. I don't really like to wear socks. So if you cool, bare feet as as cool with me. Yeah, like I ain't a big sock guy, but I'll do, like if you got a pair, like I'll rock them. <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't mean no disrespect to anybody. Oh man, that was so God. funny. How do you feel about that rule, by the way? The no shoes on? Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Because Here's after last week, God forbid, Wait, I put what? my fucking shoes up here, tore me into an asshole. That's on top of the table. Dude, we drink we drink beers and eat fucking Cheetos off this fucking thing. No one eats Cheetos off this thing. Let me tell you, I've had to come in here and clean this place up. It's, there's been some war zones in here. No Cheetos. No. no. I was going to say no Cheetos. No, che- no Cheetos in here. <laughs> or Cheetos. It's like, but like, here's the thing. You I have a get little it. stash spot over there. The camera can't see it, but Joe, over the course of recording, will have little things, and he'll just stick them in this little hole over here. <laughs> and I have to go find them. You have to go to YouTube and watch it. But there's a point to it. It's right here. It's right here. It just accumulates like glasses and like empty packets of food, and I have to come in there. <laughs> What? It's just an adventure every time I come in here. It's just an adventure. We got a mistletoe candle. A mistletoe candle that looks like it's on its last legs. I just hit my lip. You alright? It smells really good though. See what I gotta deal with? Oh man, that is funny. And God forbid I put my shoes up there. You can't put your shoes on the table. Take your hat off. That's crazy. I get the shoe thing in the winter. Because like, yo, you got boots on, you got if things wet. Take your shoes off. It's, but if it's it, the summer and like nothing's going on, like I don't mind. I, if I come into an apartment and I see a whole bunch of shoes lined up by the door, I'm going to take my shoes off. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just taking the house lead. Also, carpet, I'll take my shoes off. Yeah. Wood floors, they might stay on. Did you take your shoes off, Amicus? No. I did. It's, he didn't have a carpet. Yeah, but I saw all his shoes like lined up at there. I thought he was going no shoes. Yeah, but that's where he, he has shoes. Yeah. They got to go somewhere. They're going to be near the door. He didn't take off 12 pairs of shoes at one time and leave them by the front door. That's where the shoes go. I'm a big sh- I'll take the shoe off for you. Eh. Just, I what floors? Just- I'm, I'll keep them on. Maybe. Yeah. Have I we- also feel weird. I feel like that's too comfortable. Are you self-conscious about your like your sock game? Your feet don't no. smell. Those socks are dirty, though. What? You know, you, when you move, you need all brand new socks. I don't appreciate this disrespect. Oh, you? I've been disrespected two weeks in a row here. And you want to know why why I stay with you? Because I love you. You could say it back. See? You won't say it back. I love you, man. What are you doing? See? What are you doing? See what I got to deal with? What are you doing? I'm just just letting the world know. This isn't Dr. Phil. I'm just... I, I never said it was. You're trying. You're looking into the camera like this is the office. But anyway, I mean, one day. One day what? One day. We'll just leave it at that. Okay. That was very open-ended. I don't no, know I meant like one day. One day you'll love me. One day. <laughs> <laughs> one day you'll love me. Oh, my God. Is it like, does it have something to do with me? Is my like my physical features? Just your face, I think. My face? <laughs> What's wrong with my face? I don't think anything's wrong with my face. Is that you want me to go face? get one of those fucking, those fucking, fucking, what the hell do they call them? What? When they stab your face a bunch. Micro needling? Yeah, all the celebrities are doing it. That's so dumb. Va- vampire facial. Vamp- That's what they're calling yeah. it? Yeah. Vampire facial. Yeah. Let me let me look it up to make sure I'm right. That sounds like a person's like manually doing it with their teeth. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, yeah, I paid $5,000 and uh, this woman just bit my face. Vampire vampire facial. Long Island. Wow. Yeah, that's what it's called. Oh, my God. I'm looking it up. You know how much it cost? $1,000. To have my face ripped open? Yeah. 
Oh my God. Look at Kim K. She got it? She's bleeding on her face. Oh. What does it do for you? I don't know. It makes you shiny, I guess. Ew. Does it work? I don't know, but this looks... Oh, my God. It looks awful. Oh, my God. These people are bleeding hard. Why are women doing this to themselves? Wait. This one says health officials urge vampire facial clients to get HIV tests. There's an HIV outbreak? Well, I mean, we're talking about needles and blood and faces here. I'm, hold up. I, I want to read about that now. Vampire facial may have exposed spot clients to HIV. This is on CNN. I mean, I'm good on I'm good on that. I'm good on any facial, to be honest. I'm I'm good on on the facials, and I'm good on the HIV. Y yes, I'm good on both. Yeah, I saw Dallas Buyers Club. I don't want any part of it. Yo, that movie. <sighs> Yo, that's Matthew, a, Matthew McConaughey is a nut job. How do you get down to that weight? And. and and then, and then get back to being just hot. I know, but like you could tell though, part of him's never gained that weight back. Not all of it, yeah. Because yo, if you look at him in like fool's gold, he's fucking jack kind of. Yeah. And then he lost all that weight, and then like he he had to do permanent damage to his body to get that skinny. I think so. Yeah. Even if you did that now, like if you tried to lose all that weight and did that shit for like a roll, your body would never be the same after that. I don't have it in me. I couldn't do that. Like I'm not acting. dedicated to anything like no. that. Dedicated to putting me down, but it's fine. I'll just get a vampire facial and hopefully not get HIV. Dude, that's insane. Who came up with that? Like, yo, you know what we should do? Just <sighs> keep stabbing people in the face. Thank God for beards. For beards? Yeah. They hide so much. They hide so much just bullshit. Yo, if I shaved my face like... Like down to nothing. Yeah. No beard. When's the, last time, shaving. when's the last time you've done that? Uh, 2012. Dude, I'm so ugly. You're not ugly, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. No, I meant like if I... Sh <laughs> They're nice. If I shave my face yeah. down to nothing, right? No clean shaven. I'm significant... Si <laughs> Say that! I'm significantly less attractive. Signif really? It's significant, yes. All right. Significant. Okay. All right. You know the how you won't come clean on the bet? I'm not shaving my face. You wouldn't shave your face instead of dye your hair or wear a costume for 24 hours? No. Shaving my face, I, I, it would ha like, I, I can't. How much would I have to pay you to shave your face? Like, if I was like, yo, I'll give you 500 bucks right now. No. Really? Yeah, no. No. Wow. It would have to be like $5,000. I'm serious. What the hell did you just do just now? I, there was something on the table. I picked uh, it up. I thought you picked a booger and put it right there on the table. No, I picked something <laughs> off the table. <laughs> I thought you were no. like, I'm serious, five grand. <laughs> That's a weird thing, too. When you Yo, pick, I picked the shit out of my nose, by the way. If you don't pick your nose, you're a, liar. You're a fucking liar. And you're a weirdo. And you're a piece of shit. Also, if you're one of those people that puts like a napkin on their finger to pick their nose, uh, just get in there. What do you, what do you jerk off with a condom on? What is that kind of safety? Do you do the roll-up toss? Hell yeah. I love roll-up toss. Roll it up. Pow! Get the fuck out of here. I don't pick my nose in bed. Was that a real pick, or are you like demonstrating? No, no, something? no, no. I actually had an inch oh, in my okay. nose. You don't pick your nose in bed. Do you ever do your mustache hairs ever get so long they kind of like I hate they, that they curl I up hate and that. Your yeah. nose? I hate that. No, but, but I I pick my nose in bed. There's no limit. But I'll throw it out of the bed. There's no limit to you, what will happen. You'll throw your booger in your bed? I'm gonna throw it in my bed. <laughs> I'm not throwing no. it in my bed. No, I'm just flicking I'm flicking. I'm saying you like I don't do it in bed. I'll do it in bed. I'll do it anywhere. I'll do it in church. I'll pick my nose in my bed, but I'm not like leaving it in my bed. No, I sleep there for God's sakes. You'll jizz in your bed. I'll jizz in my... Well, uh, not on purpose. <laughs> I would hope it's on purpose. What are you talking about? I said not on purpose. No, you, if you're jizzing, I hope it's on purpose. No, I meant like... I'm not like aiming like... Oh, oh, oh here, right on my pillow. Like, obviously, I'm not doing that shit. <laughs> I was like, who's forcing you to jizz? <laughs> Jizzing by accident? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> well, it's like taking like a puppy, like trying to run him outside. But, uh... <laughs> 
I'm, I'm a picker. I am a inspector. Oh, I'm not an inspector, really. So you're like, you just go about your day. Yeah. I'm a picker. I'm there for business. I'm, there, got, I'm not there to hang out. No, because some of them are too big. This doesn't work. Yeah. You need you need a tissue. Did you ever eat your boogers as a kid? Never. You never ate your booger as never. a kid? I ate my booger as a kid. Disgusting. Yeah, it's pretty gross. I never did that. No. But I did wipe them everywhere. You were you were a booger wiper? Not on the walls. Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. Nah. I ate a booger. No, nah, I, I didn't do that. There's nothing to write home about. Yeah, no. It's not. I mean, they're, they're, they're gross. Boogers are disgusting. Yeah, Especially when you pick that one that's like on the wall. Yeah. And you pull it out. And it's so long. And it's so long. I love that, though. And you feel like you could breathe better than you could have ever, like, took a breath in your life. Yeah. 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 And it's like you just, like, release, like, this that one you blood need a, That one you need a tissue, though. Yeah. You need, yeah. Because that thing's like, you go fucking spin that thing around your finger. Do you ever, do you blow your nose and then look at it? Yeah, of course. Oh, I don't do that. Why? I don't look. You don't wipe your ass and look either. We talked about this. How do you not know that your <laughs> asshole is clean? You have to look at the shit. The <laughs> you have to. How do you not do that? I do look. I just have a different process. I I wipe and throw, and then I'll look. Wait. wait. I'm not like going like this, bring it around town. Okay, no, we're we're not good. I bring it around town. I got to see what kind of shit I'm dealing with. No, no, no. I, I let it go in the water. I don't want to. I I worry about if I fumble the ball. On the way, on on the way to the look. Now it's all over. Now it's on the ground. I, whoa! And now I just, you know, nah, there's you're, poop. You're in your head now. I am in my. I'm being you're, safe. Yeah, you're in your head. So you'll wipe your butt until it's dry. Until it's dry. Yeah, poop's wet. I mean, not if you eat healthy. Yeah, right. You know what I mean. All right. You're not gonna walk around with a shitty ass. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. But you wipe. Front to back, I hope. Yeah. Not one of those sick back to Wiping front to my balls? Gross. What am I trying Some to do? Some people do that. So you do the lean. You do the lean. Yeah, lean. You get in there. Yeah. And drop. Right. You don't do this? No. Dude, you have to. Nope. You got to know how much shit is on you. I'll, I'll look after. So have you ever gotten up, looked, and been like, there's too much shit on this toilet paper. Let me wipe my ass more? Yeah. Dude. Who taught you how to wipe your ass? No one, clearly. <laughs> I can just see you standing up, looking at the toilet, and be like, yeah, there's some shit left over on my ass. Yeah. That's strange. I knew a kid who used to stand up to wipe. That's weird. That's weird. That's Jeffrey Dahmer as a kid stuff. Yeah. Like, you I know how, like, there's symptoms? Like, if you mutilate animals when you're a kid, you grow up to be, a like, a... You know what I'm saying? The, like the a serial is, killer? That's a, that's another one. The of thing them. is also is like you can't stand up straight to wipe your ass. You have to like. You got to get a little bend to it. You got to like do this. You got to do like. <laughs> Imagine being a grown man. Yeah. Like and, you're and this, Yeah. Like, like, you're, you're like you're about to go off a big jump. Yeah. And wipe your ass. And then and then hopefully it goes in the toilet. Yeah. Why are you standing up to wipe your ass? Yeah. You know, how weird is it? How weird is it? To clean your ass in the shower. Don't you feel like a weirdo? Oh, yeah. Because you have to do that. You got to get down in a ski, skiing formation. You got to be like. I bought a loofah just for my ass. You have an ass loofah? Yeah. An exclusive ass loofah? Yeah. This is amazing. Because you want to know why I, I like most men, have a hairy butthole. <laughs> it's true. I'll tell you what. I'm not going to fight you on that. Yeah, I know, I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna fight you. So, you know, you get some D DBs in there, Diggleberries. Oh, I was like, whoa! You can't get that out with your hand. You need you need some extra reinforcement. So my ass lufa, strictly for my ass. Have you ever used it by accident in other places? I can't confirm no, nor deny. I've almost done it by accident. I've never used a loofah in my life. I use them because... To wash it, your back? No, 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 no. I have one of those... I don't... See, I think I... I don't know how good my hygiene is after hearing all this. 
Do you, I don't wash have, your, do you wash your face? I don't have any tools. Like, I don't have tools. Yeah, but you I have just like go in there with a bar of soap. Probably, right? Huh? Facial wash. What the fuck is that? I don't wash my face. Wait. I think I might have said this before. I don't wash my face. Like in the shower? Ever. Like I don't put soap on my face. Never. No, I haven't done it. It's just whatever runs down your face like yeah. fr- from washing your hair. That's about it. Yep. But I don't wash my hair with soap. No, no, no. It's like shampoo. shampoo and yeah, conditioner. You don't like... Well, you never really grow your beard out too far. Very rarely I will use... Like I'll use soap on my neck. But that's it. Like I don't do put it on my face. I don't think it's good. I like I stopped doing it because I had heard before that it. I I have I never really like struggled with like acne or like pimples. No, or whatever. Yeah, like I've no. I've gotten them obviously. Yeah, but I don't, I don't really. I've never really seen you with like one like whoa goo. <laughs> yeah, it's it's never happened like that. So I just don't do it. Yeah, I don't put soap on my face. I I, I have and a I haven't had I a, use a problem. Facial clean cleanser. That I use now that actually helped a lot. I feel like using all that stuff is bad. Like, cause you know how like girls will use like all these masks, and then like they'll peel them off. Yeah. And it's like your skin is raw now. Yeah. And it's like you you. Mass I feel like germs sus- are like susceptible to like everything. Yeah, and obviously like I don't know what I'm talking about. This is just like a feeling that I have of you know the micro needling and the all these face washes and all these masks and stuff. It's like. I feel like, you know how they say you don't use Purell too much because you're killing the good bacteria on your hands? Yeah. I feel like that could apply to your face too. That's why I stopped using soap. I was like, I'm not going to, well, I use soap on my body, but I don't use it on my face for that reason. Because I feel like that, if I constantly keep doing it, it'll just, I don't know. It could be. could be. It's a a theory. It's a theory. It's it's working for me, I guess. Yeah. I mean, you never really, like you said, you never, I had like, like when I was a kid. Yeah. But like nothing terrible, which I got lucky with that. But I wash my face now. The only thing that has ever been like bad, not bad, but Avino. like. Avino. Avino is where it's at. Yeah, that's your shit? Yeah, that's my shit. Yeah, you know the other day I I uh, ripped off a skin tag. Uh, see, I don't have any of those. I had one in here. Is Don't they say that's bad to do? Yeah. You should have got that looked at first before you did that. Why? You know me. I have a contract in. It's a skin tag. And it, it's in an area where like, it's from your skin rubbing together. <clears throat> That's how they form. That's gross. Yeah, sometimes. Like you ever see old people like look at them and they're just like, you yeah. Know, like you hell? fucking hang a Christmas ornament from one of them. They're gross. <sighs> yeah, they're, they're crazy. Yeah. But I just like grabbed it. I was just like, fuck this. Yeah. It, it was getting all tangled in the hair in there. It was that big? It wasn't big. It's Damn, just that I it hangs. I want to see it now. You know what's weird? How people watch like Dr. Pimple Popper. Why are people into that? That shit is gross. I know there's people watching this that are into popping pimples. Yeah. I just don't get it. And, like, it's watch, disgusting. I don't want to see somebody cysts explode on their back. Why? Or like a, a big one and the guy has to like Lance surgically it. Yeah, uh, cut it? And Why then, And then he that? just goes. Yeah, and then it's like. <sighs> it's gross. It's gross. Oh, oh my God. They're make doesn't she have a show now, Doctor yeah. Pimple Popper? Why are people into that? Like, there are some people that are like, "Oh my god, you have a pimple? Let me pop it." I'm like, no. Yeah. I feel like I feel like the world has a big voyeurism fetish. What is that? Oh, like you're staring? Like yeah, like you want to watch shit like that? Mm. Like think about like why why people watch like horror movies. Like, are you to watch wa- people die? Yeah. Are you watching it to be scared? Or are you watching it to just like see people get murdered? I think it's the adrenaline from being scared. Yeah, because it's like the 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 you, it's being that close, being scared of someone that's a killer, but you know there's no serious danger. Right. I guess so. Is that weird though? I, I, we're all just trying to. But at least be porn. High. You know why you watch porn? You know when you think about it, to, to is be, adrenaline to, technically you're high? Yes. So we're all just trying to get high. We're trying to get off. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, when your adrenaline's going, it's sort of like a drug. Yeah. You want to chase that again, you know. You're addicted to. The, you can get addicted to that. So for people sure. like you know yeah exa- well people there are people who are like adrenaline junkies that yeah. are just like it's like those people that I can't run. sit here I gotta go jump out of a plane yeah so it's kind of fun to just think about like everyone's just trying to get high one way or another feel something else 
other right. than just this. Yeah. Jerking off, kid. That's why people jerk it. That's why people are jumping off buildings. That's why girls f- flick that bean. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh. I feel like if you were a girl, you would rub that clit right off. Yeah. No. Nah. You ever see? You've seen pornos. They slap the shit out of that thing. I know. I always look like, yo, you're going to give it a rub burn or yeah. something. Yeah. Be careful with that thing. Be it's careful. Delicate flower. Treat it nice. Yeah. At least put some like Vaseline on there. Some like Noah Cyrus tears on that thing or something. Noah Cyrus tears. That'll probably do it. Imagine you got that like for somebody's birthday. Like I got you Noah Cyrus's tears. I'd be like, why? Or Christmas. Christmas hands down the best holiday. Easily the best holiday. Do you have any holidays you hate? What's your least favorite holiday? My my, I have two that I don't really like. I don't know which one is my least favorite, but two of them that I don't really like. Uh, I hope I agree with you. New Year's. Hate it. I don't like it. It's the worst. Like everyone, all your friends turn into that kid's like, you're not drinking? Yeah. I'm like, I'd like to make it to midnight. Usually, and someone like me, you know, I was... I I can drink, you know. Oh yes. And that night, it's never a good January first. No. Because I wake up and I'm like, oh no, you know, I don't like feeling like that. And it's also like, oh, my New Year's resolution is like drink less and not like eat that bad. Get into shape. It's but like, like you just ruined your body yesterday. Yeah, and at twelve o'clock, it's January first. So technically, you started the new year off drinking and eating like an asshole. Yeah. Not a big fan of that one. What was the other one? Halloween. Is that a holiday though? Yeah. It's like one of the major. Yeah. <sighs> Halloween sucks. I don't like Halloween. As an adult, it sucks. I just think it's like like people love dressing up and like whatever. I'm like, I'm good. It's just like why? I don't I don't like it. Why do we have to do this again? I do I will say I do like that everyone buys in and they're excited about it, but I don't like it anyway. I don't like it. Like, I like that everyone's in a good mood because they're like, oh, I want to see who's wearing what this year or whatever. Like, I like that aspect of it. And I do like scrolling through and seeing what everyone's wearing. Yeah. I just don't like the process of like, I have to get dressed. I have to put on all this makeup or whatever and then go out and then I get drunk. And then I'm just it's a, and it's also like a dangerous night. Yeah, there's a lot of weird people out, and everyone's getting super hammered. Yeah, I I just don't like I, I'm a, uh, it more than anything. I don't like that it's probably the one holiday where legitimately it's dangerous. Yeah, and then at like, least where I grew up. Yeah, you know, and not that I lived in like a terrible neighborhood, but that was a night that you know people were a little nervous about stuff because you know all kinds of stuff were hap- Eggmo- happening. Eggmobile coming around. And not just like the egg stuff, but like there was, you know, people with guns and like there was gang initiation night like around Jumping there. People. And it was like, yeah. And it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it was just like that shit. And like people and you were don't wearing fight, Yeah. You don't want to fight someone like dressed as a woman or something. Yeah. Like, I don't want to fight fucking Tinkerbell right now. Yeah. I can't do this. No. Get washed. You know what it is funny? One time I, when I was young, I went to this bar for Halloween and there was this girl that I tried to hook up with for so long. And it never happened. But that night, I hooked up with her, and I was dressed as Buzz Lightyear. That's and awesome. I was like, yo, that's all it took. That's all it took. I had to just dress like Buzz. To infinity and beyond. Yeah, so I don't even know to this day if it was me or Buzz. Probably Buzz. I mean, and the if you look at all the it. facts, yeah, it's probably Buzz. Hell yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the NASA shirt. What was she dressed as? I don't know. I want to say like a baby, which I'm not... <laughs> insanely proud to say it sounds weird when i say that i hooked up with that baby over there <laughs> i don't know what it, i don't know i waited so i waited so long to hook up with this baby now i finally did it. <laughs> it was it was amazing yeah it was it was it was you know god she's nice <laughs> <laughs> she was definitely not a baby also no she was an adult she was an adult yeah she just as a baby I think we were like 19. All right. Yeah, I remember getting that drunk and just making out with people. Ha- Dude. It's the best. Just being hammered and like, I'm going to go hook up with that girl. 
you know what I've done before, which is disgusting. This is, this, is, this is insanely embarrassing, but this has only happened to me one time in my life where I was out at a bar and obviously I was very drunk and um, I was dancing with this girl, right? But we weren't like, you know, Jamaican fucking bang you dancing. Yeah. We were just dancing. Like, you know what I mean? Which is so weird, that stuff. What, the crazy humping yeah. and shit? Yeah, I know. It's a little too much for me to be honest with you. But anyway, uh, she, we were dancing and like we were having a good time and like she, she was looking at me, I'm looking at her and like we're just dancing and we're just like talking, whatever. Then like I'm really drunk and <laughs> I guess I just misread the entire situation here oh. because I go in to kiss her and I get there but immediately she hits the eject and she's like, whoa. And I was like, and I just felt like one of those guys where I, I felt like I was just the creepy guy because I misread the situation. I had to ruin your entire night. I felt so bad. Yeah. It was this kid that I knew. It was a friend of his. And I, I told him that night and I texted him. I'm like, yo, please let that girl know. I'm so sorry. All right. Like, I like I feel like an idiot. Like it's just I could see you doing that. I, yo, I felt so weird and I felt terrible. Like it was just weird. To my defense, the only thing I will say is that it wasn't that bad because usually guys do that after like two seconds. This is like an hour and a half. Yeah, you think you're vibing. Yeah, and I just completely misread it. And like I closed the distance not at a thousand miles an hour. I was making my way over. Like I could have, you know, you could have gave me like a slow down guy, right. you know? Did but she just like awkwardly like, whoa. No, like I just went in. I think she may, may have thought I was like going to tell her something. But I just like went for it and like we locked lips and then she just went, whoa, hey, like whatever. And she wasn't like, oh my God, you fucking asshole. She wasn't, it wasn't All any right, of that. She's cool about it. I, I mean, as cool as you can be about a person kissing you that you don't want to happen. Yeah, everyone gets woed every once in a while. Yeah, I Whoa. mean, <clears throat> that's never happened to me before. <clears throat> but, uh, <laughs> well, it has. No, it hasn't. It ha it's never happened to me before. That was the only time, and I felt so weird. It was so weird, dude. Yeah. I did not like that at all. Did you even talk to her throughout the rest of the night? I honestly don't remember. Right. I, I I know I like I was I'm like sure oh, I'm so sorry like drunk just apologize like I'm so sorry. Yeah, probably a drunk apology doesn't work. No, and it's just, it probably just makes things worse too. Way worse, way worse. It was bad, but I do remember specifically texting that kid the next day. I'm like, yo, that was your friend, right? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, dude, please let her know I am so sorry. Yeah. Like that is so weird. Blah blah blah. And he was like, no, dude, it's cool. Like, it was hilarious. I'm like, no, tell her. Yeah. I wonder if I have ever ran into that girl again. Probably. Because this was years ago. I'm sure. I was I, I was probably 20 years old when this happened. I wonder happened. if she remembers. Probably not. I mean, probably not. Probably not. Actually, I, I think you'd remember if someone fucking did something like that. You would know. It's not the worst thing in the world. Though. No, I, I know. But it's just like, how often does that happen? It's not like it gets lost in the pile. I don't know. It's like, oh, yeah, so many guys just kiss me. Well, girls, though. It happens way more than it happens to us, I'll tell you that. I know, but I just felt bad because I would have much rather stopped me before I got there. Right. But I got there. You would have kept dancing. What? If she was like, yo, like, I'm just like... I would have felt so much better because at least I didn't do anything. Yeah, now you're having fun. Yeah. Uh, I, I could see your face turning red right now. I hate it. Oh, God. <laughs> I hate that I remembered that because I completely... It was... Stricken from my memory, Ugh. but now I remember. I'm now I'm living with it again. Do you go? Do you go? Do you go in for kisses like on first dates? You, I like, mean, it depends. Does a does a non kiss on a first date mean the date went poorly? I think when you're young, it, it that means it went poorly. How young? Um, like like high school. Definitely high school, but I would, I'm trying to reach a max age where I think... If you don't kiss, it's a rat, probably. I think 22. Yeah. 22 and younger, if you don't kiss on the first date. I feel like when you're 22 and younger, you know why you're on this date. Yeah. You know? Someone hooked you up. Yeah, and it's like you guys have been talking, and it's like blah, blah, blah. But I think after that, like maybe even a little older, I don't know. But like, I think after that, you get to a certain age. I think 22 is the right age. Yeah, because then... Like, 
you're an adult. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm 26 now. If you went out on a date on, with someone and you didn't kiss him, you'd be like, Oh, well, I think she didn't like me. Right. She'd be like, yeah, you're too, we're just having a good time. Like, yeah. see, I'll see you. You know, if it went well, you know, we ended with, yeah, you whatever. Know, I'll see you next time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, like, maybe, yeah, but you know, so let me ask you this then follow up. Mm-hmm. If there is no first kiss. Yeah. Do you text after the date? I kind of always do after that. But I text after like meetings and shit too. Like I'll have a meeting with someone and I'll text them at like five minutes after I leave. Like, hey man, great meeting you. Thanks again. Blah, blah, blah. I'll do that. Yeah. So I do that anyway. Like, oh, I had a good time tonight. Like I'll see you next time, I guess. I've always done that. So kiss or no kiss, you're sending an after text. Yeah. If I'm into them. Yeah. Yeah. If you're not into them, it's like, well. See ya. Yeah. I think I think the after text would be a little creepy. I don't think it's creepy. Why not, is it creepy? It's just like because I, I just saw you. Yeah, I just saw you. You know, I don't. I would because then because it's like, but it would be it would, it would you can't text a, twice. No, no, no. It has a, to be an end of the night text. Yes, it has to be. Don't you don't have to reply to this text. Right. It has to be like had a really good fun had a really fun time tonight. Get home safe. Right. Not don't open a conversation. And then if it's a thanks. Just leave it at thanks. No, yeah. No f- emphasizing the text. None of that. That movie was so good, was it? Date's over. Yeah, get out. Get out. You just get home safe. Let me tell you something. What? Oh, no. So my buddy, I hooked him up with a girl once yeah. that worked at my job. And I was like, yo, what's up? This girl's single. She's been, you know, looking for people. To like, you know, she's trying to meet people and shit. I said, oh, I, my, I got my boy, nah, um, who is single too. I said, I'll show you a picture of him. Like I showed it on Facebook. I said, would you be interested? She was like, yeah. So I hook them up. So I give her his number. And they start texting. But he's texting me. On the side, letting me know, how, letting me know how it's going. Right. You know, he's like, "Yo, it's going great." Like, whatever. Like, yo, like, oh man, like she wants to hang out, and I'm hitting her, hitting him back. Like, yo, that's awesome. A couple minutes go by, he calls me, and he goes, "Yo, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god." So I'm like, "Oh, dude, what's going on? Like, you all right? Everything all right?" He's like, "Dude, I just fucked up. Oh my god, dude, I just fucked up." He sent her a message that he was supposed to send to me, but he sent it to her. What did he say? He said, wants to hang out this weekend. Definitely DTF. Can't wait. And you know what her response was? Oh, boy. (laughs) (laughs) And you want to know the kicker? Still went on the date with him. Wow. And fucked him. That's amazing. It's amazing. Have you ever sent a text by accident to someone that you weren't supposed to? Fuck yeah. I don't know if I've done that. Can you take that off the goddamn table? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, but uh, have you ever done that? Yes, of course. Was it bad? No, nothing like fucking incriminating. Yeah. But like I've sent shit like... Incriminating. <laughs> yeah, like I've sent shit like, yo, like... I remember the, like maybe one of the worst things was is like my, my a buddy of mine was having a party... And I was talking to another friend that didn't want to go to the party, and I accidentally sent it to the group chat instead of him on the side. Huh. I was like, yo, I don't know if I really want to go to this thing. And then I was like, what about you? So they obviously knew there was a side conversation going on. Yeah, yeah. That was like maybe like the worst. But I've never been like, yo, this guy's a fucking piece of shit, and like sent it to him. Oh, yeah. You ever screenshot someone's text? To go to send to someone else, and then you send it to that person. That has happened to me multiple <laughs> I've times. I've done that before. And they're like, what is this? I'm like, I don't even know. My phone's bugging out right now. <laughs> this, Especially with this new iPhone, yeah. you can easily get away with that. I take fucking screenshots all day by accident. Yeah, I know. So, like my fucking lock screen. Yeah. Of all, yeah. It's just time pictures in my fucking <laughs> my library. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. So that story was just... I, that's one of my favorite stories of all time. 
Def DTF. Oh, Want, wants to hang out on Saturday. Def DTF. If he owned it, it would be like, you know, I would understand that. Like, it depends how he handled that situation. Yo, they hung out multiple times. After. Yeah. <laughs> and she fucked. <laughs> and she fucked. Him. That's great. Because it depends how you. If like, he's if, listening, he knows who he is. Right. If I did that, I would, I would just like own it. I'd be like, yo, I would just, you know. Because, yo, when guys talk to each other, they're not like dead serious. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, guys can say that all the time. It's like, yo, I'm definitely going to bang this chick. And guess what? 90% of the time, I would say even higher, it's a joke. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. I have to step in for the penises here. Yeah. Most things that we say to each other is not serious. Yeah. I would say maybe 97%. It's even higher for us. Yeah. I don't think we've ever said anything like that. I don't. I we've never had a conversation that didn't end in a joke or something ridiculous. Yeah, everything's embellished. Yeah, it's just nothing I, is real. I think it's just the way. Yeah, I just really, <laughs> I just really think that's the way men communicate is through this weird, like everything. No, everything is a joke, right? Mentality because it's fun. It's funny, but it's also like it's funny because we think it's funny. No, but it's funny because no one can hear. Like I would never say these things to somebody. No. Like, that's the difference. I would never say to a girl's face, yo, you're DTF. Yeah, like, that's crazy. And I'm not even actually thinking that about you. Yeah. Like, I'm just saying it to be funny, like, to be a dickhead. And I'm sorry, and, and, and surprise, surprise, you were. Yeah. So he was just telling the truth anyway. <laughs> oh, my God. Young people just want to have sex. Yeah. Fuck them. Yeah. Same guy bang, banged a girl at his apartment. And then we were outside. He was smoking, he, he was he was smoking a cigarette and was just saying like, "Oh, this girl was so annoying. Like I couldn't stand her. She was just like I was like, "Oh, she's right underneath us waiting for a cab." And heard everything he said. Yeah. That's terrible. Yeah. I've had conversations with him like about like, "Yo, dude, like you got to calm your dick down a little bit." <laughs> Maybe uh, retire that dick. I or... mean, he's a coxman. Like, like I give it to him. But like, he was just like, yeah, like I wasn't really into her. Like, I don't know. She, she kind of sucked. I was like, yo, Ben. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Said his name. Fixed in post. But I was like, uh, she's like right under there. <laughs> he was like, oh, shit. You're an idiot. I know. Um. Anyway, I think we can wrap this up. We'll bleep that. We'll bleep it. <laughs> I hope you remember to bleep it because... This doesn't affect me. No, 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 no. It's all you. God damn it. I can't believe I did that to him again. Yeah, you're an idiot. It's whatever. He's the man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Danny, where can they find you? Find me at Twitter and at Instagram at... D That's not right. We'll fix that in post Go for ahead. sure. You can find me at Danny LaPriori on Twitter and Instagram. And I have to do one quick shout out to my buddy Dylan who gave me a Sunday ticket. Ooh, nice. Yeah. That's fire. Yeah. Damn, I want a Sunday ticket. I'll talk to him. Maybe we could share it. Ooh. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, guys, also in the background there, see the smoky fucking uh, hoodie on the night? Those are available at thesantagatostore.com. Wait, where can I find that? Thesantagatostore.com. I'm going to go to that store. Go check it out. They have those smoky hoodies. Different colors? There's a black one. Nice. Yeah. It's very nice. There's other stuff as well. Go check it out. Very fresh. And uh, yeah. Go subscribe to the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash the basement yard. We have full length videos now, so you can go watch that if you're not watching it already. And um have we decided if we're gonna do the Instagram yet? Oh, we're yeah, still we'll we're, we're still there. we're figuring that we'll out, get right? There. But we got other stuff coming. We will get there. I was just I was being no, an idiot. No, it's okay. I'm sorry. I, no, you're fine. You're fine. By the way, can I say something before we end this? Yes. I love you. Love you too, man. <laughs>